Okay, so let's talk about K dot versus J Cole, the whole rap beef. I'm telling you, it is very short. Everything started when he teamed up with Drake for the song First Person Shooter. Everything was good until he mentioned this bar. He said he, Drake. And Kendrick Lamar are the greatest of all time. As a matter of fact, they are big three of hip hop. But that was not the part that got him in trouble. It was the part when he started saying that him and Drake are just the same because them both are the greatest of all time. If Drake is number one, J Cole is number two, then where does they leave Kendrick? Number three, I guess. And that is where Kendrick did not like it. He called that verse as a sneak diss and therefore he responded with like that. Back in the day when Kendrick wrestled on the mic in the control wars wherein he brought in big names, Pusha T, Drake, J. Cole, Asa Rocky, J. Electron, I mean there were many rappers that were pulled in into that song just to tell them that he's competitive and he is going to make your fans think that you don't exist. This is that guy we are talking about. And Kendrick had some kind of competitive beef with Drake already. So that song like that was majorly targeted for Drake. But it was J. Cole who said big three. So that's the reason why Kendrick pulled his name in the wars and dissed him too. But don't get me wrong, that wars was majorly towards Drake. Without wasting any of your time, I'm going to see why this song why Kendrick's feature in Like That is better than J. Cole's 7-minute drill. First of all, Kendrick did drop Entrandes. Double Entrandes were in the song. That is a salient feature of Kendrick. He always drops Entrandes and I love cracking them all. Like I told you, in the control wars, he wrestled with the mic and he brought in memes. They had nothing to do with the beef, but he just brought in memes. But in the song, he was violent. He started off violent to show that even though he's a midget, he's not afraid of J. Cole and Drake. He was violent for that reason. Though it was an introductory beef, it was violent because he wanted to show that he stands somewhere, even though he's a midget. He's alone, but don't take his solitude as his weakness. And then he refused to acknowledge Big Three. There is no Big Three. It's big mean, nigga. Bum! Then there were warnings that all of your dog will see the Pet Cemetery, which was an Antron Day. Pet Cemetery is Stephen King thing, the novel, the movie, and actual graveyard for pets. And many people say when Kendrick says, ah, it was directed towards Drake because his name is Aubrey. All I mean to say, when Kendrick wrote this verse, he put a real thought in it. He put his time, energy, and made it a good voice, like a voice that will be sung by many people like LeBron James. Let's talk about my delete later. The 7 minute drill. According to J. Cole's manager Ibrahim, he said the 7 minute drill is something J. Cole uses frequently when he has something in his mind when he's overthinking. So what he does is he chooses 2 to 3 beats. After he chose his beat, he gives himself 7 minutes to rap or freestyle a song. And that is exactly how the 7 minute drill song has been made. Everybody on Twitter were like, J. Cole bodied Kendrick. Not really. He did cook him a little, but not body. That song was a weak diss. As a matter of fact, the song by the transphobic bar was some kind of a bar because it actually brought a heat wave to a J. Cole. Cancel culture and shenanigan, yeah. But if we talk about a 7 minute drill, in the song, he says his second album was tragic. I'm going to talk about this in V bit. J. Cole's words was not well structured, not even well planned, or not even the entrandes were good, not even the bars were good. It was such a weak diss. And then he paid homage to Jay Z and Nas beef. And if I recall it properly, Jay Z was the one who apologized to Nas. And what happened in this one? J. Cole apologized to Kendrick, K. Dot. Now, coming to the tragic part. He said to pimp a butterfly is a tragic album, but in the same album there is a song King Kunta. There Kendrick says, I want to kill a couple rappers, but they did it to themselves. The apology that J. Cole made after dropping a weak ass this song was like he dug a grave then jumped into it. It's that simple. Bro killed himself. Now this is something really important. The album is different. I'm going to talk about that album in the next video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. So the album name is Might Delete Later. J. Cole said he had two sleepless nights because he dropped a weak ass diss song. Then like a wuss, he apologized for that weak diss song. Just stick with me for a wee bit. So the album name is Might Delete Later. He apologized for the song and he feels bad about that song. 
So why didn't he delete that song? In the business perspective, he's making money off the album. He's making money off the song. And he apologized for making that song. So he's playing safe everywhere. Personally, in a relationship wise, he wants to stay good with Kendrick. But in the career wise, when both of guys are a rapper and both of them compete with each other, he want to disrespect him there. And then apologize for that. All I want to say, if J. Cole literally feels bad for him, then he should delete that 7 minute drill song. Like Mel did when he beefed with Eminem. Anyway, this is something I was not that much excited to see. Now it's down to Drake versus Kendrick. A pop star versus an MC. A rapper versus an MC. I have all the respect for Drake in beefs because this guy does not let it slide. We all know Pusha T is a statistic. Even though he gave Adonis a father, he sacrificed himself, but Drake does not forget the humiliation Pusha T brought on him. And Kanye. So after like 5 plus years, Drake still disses Pusha T because he did not forgive him. That is the kind of attitude a rapper should have. Otherwise, he should not be rapping anymore. Don't take up beefs that you can't handle. So bottom line is pop star Drake actually understands rap beef, rap shenanigans far better than J. Cole, even after J. Cole is a better MC and a rapper than Drake.